that what I have highlighted in red, that is Israel, and the orange areas which are there, they, those are the Palestinian territories, small. And uh, you can see that it's pretty much landlocked, and uh, yeah, there is this Gaza Strip is there, so uh, it's linked to the ocean. But this is such a small country, compare it with Turkey, compare it with Iran, compare it with Saudi, Egypt. It is a very small country and it's a very highly advanced country also in that respect. It's a developed economy. and But people, why they tend to take side of all the other countries and they think that Israel is not doing well, I mean, what, whatever the war is going on, that is beyond me. So I just wanted to debunk a few things here and people are joining a lot of protests and especially I have seen in my artist circles and designer circles a lot of very vocal people who, who are supporting the Palestinian cause okay so let's dive into this topic short discussion about uh, what's happening really there is a lot of noise going on and the noise you cannot imagine uh, the protests are uh, have reached America also Indian students are participating in that and they have issued strict warning that if uh, foreign students are found doing this they will be straight deported and uh, those things people have taken it to the Washington and so so this thing is happening and a lot of places in India also many people I don't know if they are ignorant they are biased or what and they do not appreciate the situation here and this is the so I started with the geographical location of Israel it's a very small country it's about the size of the state of Kerala in India imagine that 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 is the that is a country so don't they have their right to defend themselves it's a such a small country it's surrounded by all of, from all sides surrounded by adversaries don't they have a right and if you take all the countries in this map here most of the countries that I've shown the only very advanced country is Israel and it has a lot of the Western values like what we associate with UK what we associate with Canada what we associate with Australia those same things get applied here so that's why these countries are also allied and part of one group major and so you don't have to really worry about what you don't really have to worry about the ethics and other things of this country okay they take their decisions they like it's kind of a democracy kind of thing they issue ultimatum they issue warning that you leave you empty the territory we are going to shell it we are going to attack here this point this point that point civilians they don't want to kill people there they are very organized and ethical people because it's such an advanced nation right so it doesn't matter religion if the country is advanced then you you can count on it I mean it's not a humanitarian issue that you should be because some kids are being murdered or something happened some hospital has been bombed it doesn't you just don't have an emotional response to these kind of situations you have to realize that people have to defend themselves and they have to defend their territories and what happened uh, in this war what escalated that I'm going to uh, briefly touch upon like between uh, Israel and other countries when uh, if you uh, many people are not checking the news I think and they don't uh, they don't understand what what happened the sequence of events that happened Israel never attacked anybody okay the first thing that happened is that Hamas that is there no militant group Hamas is the nearest to Israel it's it's from the Palestinian side actually I mean they take advantage of Palestinian side uh, it's not that Palestinian people openly support Hamas but they may have some sympathy for these groups otherwise how can they how could they do it just like in Pakistan also there are some militant groups and we can say that the, the establishment has some uh, favor the favoritism towards these uh, organization militant organization these are not army this is not the Palestinian army or anything these are militant groups and uh, they first launched an attack okay so you you can see here that this is a typical western country israel it's a peace loving country because it's not attacking anybody and when they it's such a developed economy and they have tourism and everything science technology engineering and uh, those things in startup great um, culture is there when they see that they are being attacked and i mean it's it's very dastardly act that happened how they entered into the Israeli territory and they started the conflict. Many people don't know this. So when, when they did this, so the country has every right to defend itself because they have to they have to keep their economy upright, right? So all these things, if such a problem happens and it's such an advanced country as Israel is, they would want to completely eliminate this problem. That's why they started 
uh, controlling these areas which is like the palestinian areas that are there so they cut off supplies from those places and there were hospitals there and of course patients suffered but this is what they did in response to protect their economy to protect that because after this conflict do you think that many westerners or many people would think about going to israel for tourism so how are they going to recoup it they they want to make it peaceful and they they are not a country like india that will uh, that uh, i mean for most of the time we have waited and watched we never took action okay so so israel is not that kind of country so they have the technology so they went on a full offensive to clear all these things and restore the state because it was peaceful for the last many years couple of 15 years or something like that I, if i am not wrong 10 years or 20 years it was quite peaceful and this sudden event that happened so these uh, so these um, israeli authorities idf that is there they want to completely eliminate these uh, things so they are completely launching a ground offensive like completely they want to you know, remove the at the root level okay so that's what they are doing and of course in this in this process many civilian casualties are also there and humanitarian aid has reached for the palestinian people india also supports the palestinian cause but india also supports israel as well as iran so i'm not blaming iran for anything like um, all those other countries but the thing is that the other other it is not only hamas there is hezbollah and there is also the houthi rebels yemen supported so a lot of the three four militant groups only they are coordinating and attacking this and people in india and students and all if you happen to identify yourself with a particular religion be informed that you have to stand on the side of truth okay it's not that it's only your religion people are suffering that's why you are going to support you are going to raise a banner and and then you start demanding that why israel is killing these people so a widespread misinformation that is going on in twitter and we can't do anything for twitter regarding twitter i'm going to post another video how toxic twitter is okay but for this video for the purpose of this video i want to state that there is a widespread misinformation that is going on and uh, complete uh, fake news that is going on fake footages are uh, showing are being shown as this is a hospital some past videos they are doing rounds on social media instagram a lot of people are supporting and uh, the the craziest thing is that many people from uh, india they like they, they they think themselves very artist artistic people they are trying to support it just as like they are many people who have not even seen what war is like they have not fought a single war and they don't know how what a shelling is and what it feels like and these people they are protesting so i mean this is a high level of double standardness so on one side you see that there are militants the hezbollah hamas and the houthi rebels so there is no democracy nothing these are not organized armies okay? band of people when they they will do anything they are using any weapons they can kill in any way it's not a organized way of like it's not a formal formal army because there are certain code of conducts for army many people don't know these things on the other hand if you see compare with idf idf has a lot of female soldiers because uh, uh, israel is such a small like uh, geographical area is such a sm- so small you don't know that they have compulsory military service and people have to serve in army there is no other way in india people don't know what is compulsory military service that's why they the easiest thing they will go to instagram they'll go to youtube they'll go to twitter and they'll start their toxic things and i mean they will not think about anything okay first try to uh, think about compulsory military service and since like so there is shortage of uh, males and they have so lot of percentage like uh, up to 60 70% uh, positions they have in idf are for females and a lot of females they participate in that and it's not only of a particular religion because actually three religions are existing in israel so a lot of advanced like developed people are also there from all the three religions and they equally participate in their armies and the female membership that is one of the most a uh, remarkable thing and it, it is also like similar to us you have seen in the afghanistan war and other um, wars a lot of females have participated in that female soldiers similar to that there is very high um, uh, participation from females and uh, are you going to trust a army that has female members and it's an uh, organized i mean it's a um, formal recognized and discipline is there are you going to uh, take sides with them or you are going to take side with the three militant groups that are attacking so once you answer have the answer to this question then you take sides otherwise you can just keep quiet and can just see it don't try to uh, be an armchair expert and uh, try to because people don't value information these days 
they think they can do anything online it's free it's i mean i am doing what it's what's the consequence but it has a lot of consequence your single post your single comment has a lot of consequence because everything is linked to each other you have to take care of that be very careful when you are doing it okay so you it because uh, so this is my goal actually i don't want to inform you about any situation i don't want to give you historical information but i want to caution you that be on the right side of the thing there is uh, so if you want to protest and if you want to do that then you better know the consequence of that because nothing escapes okay nothing escapes the truth you can side with any country that's not a problem and in this case especially india should be neutral because we are we support india supports palestine cause also but most above all india supports israel that's fine that's one thing uh, just for the democratic um, the code of conduct and other things they have they support the palestinian cause also because we have good relationships with iran also and um, th- these things keep on happening so you better exercise your, your caution about what you do online related to these things so if you found this video please share it with your friends and uh, uh, let's uh, make this thing useful